one of the other tasks that you may need to do is internet research and so you might have something like this from a client get me five indian podcasters influencers or brokers on the topics of productivity personal growth development reading books building habits and book clubs for example so you will go to google advanced search just put google advanced search and then you will put um, all the specifications podcasts blogs productivity and habits um i guess i'll just put reading influencers because i didn't put reading here so you can use all these filters okay if it's numbers if it's words here languages and we'll put english and then the region it's india so this helps you just narrow down your search so that you're not struggling india search you can use the filters and so you can see i have all these options to go through and there are much more um, much better than just google alone so this kind of helps you narrow down the options so yeah those are some of the tasks and so for this for a task like this how will you present it you'll probably have an excel sheet and you will have let's say the name of the blogger or podcaster or maybe the the link uh, name of the platform or the podcast then uh, maybe the topic is it building habits is it reading books is it personal growth some clients will give you this already but for some clients um, you will need to come up with uh, all that so yeah that's one of those tasks so you should always know how to present your research based on a spreadsheet with all the categories if you're not clear on that just make sure you are clear on that with the client on what exactly the client wants for example if it, some clients usually want you to um, go through a blog and tell them also the number of words that the blog has and for that you can have a chrome extension i think this one called word counter which is really easy uh, you just install it as a chrome extension and you can uh, right click on it and then you highlight the article and it tells you the number of words then you can go and put that information on a spreadsheet make sure the spreadsheet is clean all the categories are good and then you can share it to the client and as i said some clients will give you a spreadsheet and make your work easier so um yeah you'll know what to price according to the work you've done awesome